friends, welcome back to the Ridge Kids Clubhouse. I'm Carol. And my name is Amanda, and I'm so excited to be back with you all here at the Clubhouse. We have learned so much this month already about going God's way. Yeah, that's right, and we have another great story for you today. But before we get started, we are going to get you up and moving with an activity called Seven Jumps. That sounds like fun. I'm ready. Are you guys ready? Awesome. So to play, all you have to do is jump the way that Amanda and I jump. We are going to jump seven different ways. Everyone stand up. Our first jump will be jumping on one foot. Great job jumping on one foot. Our second jump is so much fun. Let's jump like a frog a few times. Oh boy. Woo. Ribbit. Ribbit. Oh, that was so fun. So jumps three and four we're going to put together. We're gonna jump forwards and backwards. Forwards and backwards, nice. You're getting the hang of it now. For jump five, let's jump like a bunny. <gasps> Ooh, nice. We have two more to go. For jump six, you ready? Ready. It's jumping jacks. You guys are doing great. For jump seven, we're going to jump as high as we can. Oh, I'm ready. Oh, am I higher than you? Woo! Wow, those are some pretty high jumps. Thanks for doing seven jumps with us. Speaking of the number seven, we're going to hear about a man who was told to do something seven times in our story today. Mm. You'll have to listen closely to find out what he has to do. Ooh, I really want to hear this story. But first, let's jump over to the Wonder Clubhouse to see what Manny is up to. Ooh. Ooh. You know what time it is? It's time to hear a story. just the puddles were muddy really muddy and my boots got muddy too my dad says I have to clean them up by myself this is going to be really hard I'm never gonna be able to do this ho, ho. it's Ollie hello Zoe Ho, ho, cleaning a muddy mess, are you? Hi, Ollie. It's going to be so hard, I don't know if I can do it. Doing the right thing can be hard. It's true. I've got just the Bible story for you. Just listen to this. Just follow me through. Ho, ho. Follow me through. the last one. <laughs> Hola friends, I'm Luis, the handyman. I'm working on a project and we need lots of bricks. Hmm, can you count them with me as I put them away? All right, here's one. <sighs> that was heavy. <laughs> Okay, uh, how many is that? Two, okay, all right, let's keep going. Wow, okay, <laughs> that was some hard work. <laughs> Oh, now, how many bricks did I put away? Seven? Wow, that doesn't sound like a lot. <laughs> but when you're picking 
them up one by one, it's really hard. You know, that reminds me of our story today. If you want to help me build it, haha, <laughs> great. Let's put it on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer. Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. Okay, so today's true story from the Bible begins with a man named Naaman. Naaman was a very important guy. He was in charge of a big army. He was used to doing things his own way. One day, Naaman got sick. He had lots of spots on his skin and it hurt really bad. <gasps> There was no medicine that could make the spots go away. Now Naaman heard about a friend of God's who might be able to help him. So Naaman took his horse and chariot and went to find God's friend, Elisha. When Naaman got to Elisha's house, a messenger came out and told Naaman that if he wanted to get better, he needed to go wash himself seven times in the river. Seven times? <laughs> well, that sounded very hard. This made Naaman very angry. Naaman was angry because he thought Elisha was going to make him better right away. Seven baths sounded too hard. Do you know what? Sometimes following God's way is hard, but we have to remember God's way is perfect. Naaman, you just have to jump, jump and go God's way. Finally, Naaman went God's way and washed seven times in the river. Can you guys count Naaman's baths for him? Ready? Go, Naaman! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven! And look, his spots are gone! <laughs> Ooh, yep, I do a happy dance too! <laughs> way to jump, jump, and go God's way, Naaman. <laughs> it was hard, but you did it, and now you're all better. See, God's way is perfect. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, whose way is perfect? God's way is perfect. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, whose way is perfect? God's way is perfect. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Adios! So there's your story. And it's all true. Naaman did a hard thing. And we can follow God's way, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo! Hoo! Wow! Naaman had to do something really hard, but he did it because he trusted that God's way is perfect. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! This is going to be really hard, but my dad told me to do it, so I will. I wonder if I have to scrub my boots seven times. One. Two, three, Hey friends, that was such a great story from the Bible today. We learned that it is very important to go God's way and that reminds me of this month's memory verse. It sure does and I will say our new memory verse, everyone watch me. God's way is perfect. 2 Samuel 22, 31. All right, I think I've got it. Let's say it together. Are you all ready? Okay. God's way is perfect. 2 Samuel 22, 31. Great job! Our memory verse tells us that God's way is perfect. Whose way is perfect? 
God's, God's way, way is, is perfect. perfect. Yes, it is. Now let's get ready to sing the song of the month. I'd say it's perfect. Join us. Today, we heard about Naaman going God's way and how God healed him. Yes, he did. What a great story. Yeah, and we are learning that we should always go God's way because his way is perfect. Yes, God's way is perfect. It's not always easy, but it is perfect. Yeah, it's not always easy. But before we go, we want to know if you got your God time card done this week, Amanda. I'm going to do mine right after we finish here. That's a good plan. Me too. And I want to know how are you all doing with your God time at home? Way to go. I've completed all my God time cards so far too. Well, I think I've missed one or two, but I'm doing the best I can. That's great, Carol. And to our friends at home, if you need a God time packet for the month of May, just have your parents contact the church and we'll send one to you. Yeah, you can just have them email us and we will get you the rest of the month. And then what you're gonna do is fill out your scorecard, mail it back to us at the end of the month and we will send you the last keychain in our series for this five month God time challenge. That's right, and it doesn't matter how much God time you complete, we just want you to participate. Yeah, so remember, this is our final month for our God Time cards. We hope that you've collected all the keychains so far. And we're almost there, so keep up the good work. Yeah, and be sure to join us right here next week as we jump, jump, and go God's way into our next Bible story. Have a great Sunday. See you next time.